What is up guys, it's Luke W coming back at you on a beautiful day today. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks for helping me reach 650 subscribers by the way guys. I'm really excited about this video because I'm gonna be launching technically my third product, sending it from China into the Amazon FBA warehouses where I'm planning to get some nice steady sales with this next product. And my favorite part about it is that the profit margins are anywhere from 13 to 16, $17 in some cases, if I get the price range uh, right. Uh, with this, basically I paid $5.22 for each unit to be uh, shipped from China, including the product, the shipping, and I'm bundling it with two other items, which is hopefully gonna help me uh, knock some of the competition out of the way and help me capture a lot more of those sales. So I did start out with like 10 Alibaba suppliers I was negotiating with. I found a few that spoke really good English, got back to my messages really promptly every time. And I narrowed it down to one who basically gave me the best price. And you can really negotiate with these suppliers, guys. I wanna let you know, like they started out saying, the minimum order quantity to put your logo on this product is 500 units. I was like, hey, it's my first order with you guys. I wanna build a relationship, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're gonna let me do 200 units and get my logo and bundle it all and uh, keep the same minimum order quantity price as it would have been for 500 units. So they're giving me a nice little deal. You can always ask these guys, always know that there's uh, they're up against other uh, Alibaba manufacturers and uh, they have to kinda compete against them too. So. With this product, I did some extensive research. I actually only had, I reset my Jungle Scout Chrome extension because I heard Tanner saying something about, hey, the Chrome extension isn't, uh, it's got some bugs with it, maybe you should reinstall it and install it again because some people were having problems with their Chrome extension giving low numbers or something. So I just did that. And when I log logged back in, I noticed, uh, it gave me a one day like free trial of the web app and I was able to go look for products again like I've been waiting to do but I didn't want to drop like 40 bucks on another month subscription of the web app. So in literally one day I just went hard and found about a list of 10 products, looked into each of those. <clears throat> I came down to two that I wanted to do and they're nice lightweight and everything like that and I came to one that I think is really gonna be the uh, big enchilada with this, with this nice high profit margin. The price range it sells for is 26 to $32, and I'm getting it in China here, including shipping into Amazon for $5 and like 22 cents. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, I looked into camelcamelcamel.com, where I was able to see that the price was actually steady and stable for uh, the years that it's been selling on Amazon and on uh, Google. So that let me know that there's not any kind of seasonal things I'm gonna be expecting with this product, which it's not a seasonal product at all. So I'm not gonna worry about fall coming around and then the sales dropping off for summer like it was an inflatable lounger or something that people are gonna only use outside uh, when it's summer. So not only that I looked into for the product research, but I do love the Chrome extension and how it now has the Google Trends data. Um, you can see guys, I'm gonna put up a little picture, basically the Google Trend for this product has been steadily on the incline and uh, I'm excited to see where it's going. Um, so that Google Trends helped me justify again that this product is getting more and more popular over time. Not only that guys, uh, I also checked buzzsumo.com and this basically is something where you can type in a product name or anything like that that you want to search and it gives you popular links that have been shared across Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter and it shows the popularity of products there. So when I typed this in I saw like 2.4 thousand engagement posts on uh, this particular product on Facebook. So there was a lot of fire and heat coming off of this product through Facebook and other services like that. So I could see again, this product is uh, looking like a winner. Other than that, guys, I've just uh, been doing some more stuff on my own here, just hanging out. My Amazon sales that I've been working with right now have been doing pretty well. Uh, I made seven sales the other day, so a little over $100 in revenue. 
And the product I'm working with now, the Neodymium Magnets, as you guys know, it's just been uh, doing like smaller sales, like three to five sales, like seven sales is nice. But I did raise the price to $15.99, so I'm making about $7 profit every time with that. So it's not bringing, generating too much money right now, but it's a stable, stable product that I'm going to be able to uh, have on the back burner. Just like if you're looking into stocks, if you want a nice stable stock to get you on a nice baseline, then that's going to keep generating lower returns, but it's going to be consistent. This new product, I imagine, judging by the, the sales data on the Chrome extension, for my particular product, it's in the 500, 600, 700 thousands of sales a month range. And I did want to get into this product a little bit because <clears throat> it did have a, it's got a nice depth. And when I go down to the second and third page and run the Chrome extension, it's still getting like 200, 400 sales, uh, even on the third page. So this product has a lot of depth. The only thing is it's a little more competitive. On the first page, there's some people with 200, people over with 100 reviews, but a lot of them are in like the 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, there's a few in like 40 reviews, 20 reviews, but I do want, I wanted to do this anyway, guys, because when there's a product with a little more competition, at least it means if I get up in the pages, which through every uh, video I've created, basically I tell you guys how I like to just trade reviews with people. I do these things to help uh, boost my product up the pages when doing product launches. So I feel confident that I can get up in the pages and basically start seeing a lot more sales coming. If I get to the point where I'm doing 300 sales a month with $15 profit, that's uh, a good amount. That's over three grand, almost four grand or something, I believe. So I'm um, really excited to see what this product does. I just wanted to reach out to you guys and let you know I've finally found another product. I even reached out to Jungle Scout and said I was gonna hopefully do another video of product research and they extended me three more days to use the web app for free just as kind of a little trial. And they said, hey, yeah, when you're done sending us this uh, product research video, send us, Jungle Scout, the video you made and we might be able to share it ourselves. So that'd be really exciting. There's a whole lot of other things. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and fell back to sleep. But in that time, I just was excited and I thought of five other video ideas I could easily make. Like I have the Jungle Scout product research video. I have another thing that actually a friend bought a ton of magnets. He lives in Sri Lanka. Shout out to you if you're watching this video, man. And he wasn't able to sell his magnets in Amazon because they were restricted like mine were when I got my listing shut down. And he actually sold me his, I think he paid almost $2,000 for his nice ass magnets and everything. And uh, he sold me for almost $600. So he took a bit of a loss there, but uh, I mean, it's, that's one thing you gotta do. You wanna check with Amazon if the ASINs that you're looking into selling are officially okay to sell. So I'm gonna do another video showing you guys I got a ton of this guy's magnets and uh, I'm gonna figure out a way to get these sold, whether it's eBay or sending in a batch to Amazon and seeing if they will uh, indeed be able to set up a listing with me not being restricted again, like how I'm not restricted for the magnets I'm selling now. Matt Loberstein, he's been killing it on YouTube lately. If you guys haven't checked him out, you should because I'm gonna have him come and do a cool interview on my channel. He's been making hundreds of thousands in revenue a month on Amazon. So he's been doing it for about three years. I wanna get some more expertise people on my channel doing live stream, live stream interviews. Um, I've been also consulting a 14 year old dude, Daniel Skrinnick, man, shout out to you boy. Uh, he's got two products in and he didn't get the course or anything, but I basically mentored him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he did pay me a bit for that, but he's, now has two products in they just launched a few days ago and in the first three days he had fifty dollars in sales a hundred dollars in sales and about eighty dollars in sales again so he was uh pretty excited that's what he wanted to do his goal was just to wake up and see sales every day in the morning on his phone so happy to have helped him out with that 
at 1 p.m. I'm meeting a lady at a coffee shop. She just bought the course. Uh, shout out to you, Liz, if you're watching. Uh, she bought the course through my link, which is also down below. That's Tanner J. Fox's Amazon course. Uh, she learned everything, all the step-by-steps, and since she got it through my link, I'm gonna be now meeting with her and I'm gonna walk her through uh, how to basically navigate Jungle Scout, everything else, and help her on her way to getting her first product. So with that said, guys, uh, I'm gonna probably conclude this video. We got a lot more in the pipeline. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, I'm trying to get videos out pretty frequently, at least one or two a week, maybe three. But uh, yeah, stay tuned guys. Check the links below. We got the Tanner J. Fox Amazon Seller Mastery course. I've learned everything from that course. It's a really beginner course, but you got the Facebook group and you also get an affiliate link. So anytime you sell that course to anyone else, you get $100. Uh, we got Jungle Scout, the product research tool. I'm gonna be doing a product research video showing you guys how I find products that make bank. Uh, and basically, one other video I was gonna do is uh, a review of this other course. There's this guy, uh, he actually lives in my state here, and he made a course that's a thousand dollar Amazon course. It's got a lot more content than particularly Tanner's does, but it's a bit more advanced, I'd say, and the price is twice as much, but he did extend that course out to me and say, hey Luke, can you make a review of this course? Uh, after you finish watching it. So I said, sure, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up that course and do a little review of that course for you guys. Um, and you can maybe, maybe check that out. And as I learn and grow with all these courses, when you guys leave comments below and ask me what you wanna hear and what you wanna learn and the questions you have, that's gonna just help you guys. Like the smarter I can get with this, I can feed back to you guys. I might start doing some live stream interviews like Tanner does and just answer a ton of your guys' questions because Facebook has been like blowing up for me. Uh, it's been hard almost to focus on finding a product that I need to do because I've been devoting so much time to answering all these uh, Facebook questions and doing all these different things now and meeting with people. So it's getting pretty intense guys, but this is all part of the journey. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you in the next video guys. All right, peace out.